Just yeah. asking, because I know sometimes you put them out there for other people. Like a, no, like, like I said, you know that you could get rid of. It's been a while. Um, you know, red coat I put in there because Adam, Adam, who was lamenting that he didn't want to sl- like he slummed and bought a second print, or he was going to slum and get a second print. You know, he wouldn't. He's not a poor. And I said to him. You know, I go, listen, I go, I have the first print. I go, but just so you know, it's not the cover A, it's the connecting cover. Right. But it's a first print. I go, if you buy the second print, I go, I'll just give you my first print for the second print. I don't care. You're crazy, son. <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm a printing elitist, just yeah. so you know. I am not. You know, it is what it is. <sighs> Hate you people. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, boy. So if if only that was the least of my uh, my woes this past week. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. I'm afraid to ask because no, I know listen, the troubles that's this, you get into. Yes, the troubles that I get into, but that's what the troubles I get into are. Um, so went to Hershey this past weekend. Everything was great. Right. Um, I'll save the bad news for Adam when we do at odds this weekend that we won't be able to do the um. Hershey Park season pass sharing opportunity. Oh, I was hoping to get in on that. He was talking to it about it a little bit. Yeah. You might have to all al- you both might have to alter your appearance greatly. Oh, I'm easy. I'm a shape changer, Joe. Yeah. Um we'll see. So well, we'll we'll get into it. But I got my uh giant Reese's peanut butter cup, as was discussed here last week. Right. Uh, and quite, go ahead. Go go no go ahead go ahead. All right, so you got you got it right. It's yeah. uh, and like it comes in an edible shell, right? Yes. Obviously. Now I'm wondering because it looks like thick, like like there's a lot of meat in that Hershey. You know what I mean? Does it fall apart when you bite it? No. Okay. Oh, so oh, do you know what I'm asking? There, it seems like it would crumble under the weight of your mandible jaw. So, <laughs> the, the, it is very heavy in and of itself. Um, right. Now, a couple things, you know, w- I waited till like toward the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you've ever been to Hershey Park. Oh, my God. It has to be 20 years since I've been to the park <laughs> and 10 years since I went to see Bruce Springsteen at the stadium mm-hmm. there. Gotcha. So. So part of the season passes, you get uh, preferential parking. Mm-hmm. And we're literally, like, right across from Chocolate World, which is, like, outside the park. Like, you can just go to Chocolate World without buying a ticket, and that's where you go and get your thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, we'll go. I'll look, and I'll see what time they're open till because we got at the park at, like, 11. And I'm like, eh, like, toward the end of the day, I'll go, I'll get it, and I'll stash it in the car. Right, because well, you don't want to leave it melting all day. Right, and it was a it was a, it was a cool day this past uh, Saturday. You know, it this wasn't isn't too the weather wasn't, show. This isn't the right. weather show. I wasn't too worried about uh, it melting or anything else like that. But I will say, as we read off all the ingredients and so forth last week in the show, mm-hmm. I noticed that when they run out of ingredients, they don't restock those ingredients at like say five o'clock. Oh, that is dirty pool right there, <laughs> and. When I questioned, because on the website it said that you can get a, re- a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate one, and I asked for the dark chocolate one, and they looked at me like I was speaking another language. Yep. Once again, I'll always say I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, because right. it has a bitter edge to it, and it lacks the oral ecstasy of its milkier cousin, John, every <laughs> time. <laughs> so you can only get four things mixed in, Right. Right, because that's all they had left, or no, no, no. Okay. When you go, so it doesn't say this on the website, but when you go there, it says pick any four of these mix-ins, right? Oh, okay. You're only allowed up to four. Where I'd like eight is what you're yeah. saying. And the way that it works is so they 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 they, they put it. Th- and have you ever gone to Cold Stone? Yes, yes, I have. So it's prepared similarly to Cold Stone, where they put like a semi like frozen i guess slab of peanut butter on like their frozen slab they put all the mixins in and they mix all that together and they put it in the shell and they put a lid on it and they say the idea of the lid is that you break off pieces of the lid and then you eat 
the the stuff that's inside like nachos. Right. So it's chocolate tortilla chips. Yes. Now, Got it. They say this in like I'm there with April. My kid's off doing his own thing, and uh, <laughs> because they say that it's like uh, chocolate, you say uh, you say, because they say it's like chocolate nachos. Mm-hmm. My wife says, "Oh, I could have some too." And what do you no. think I said to her? Oh, fuck off! No, I said no. You get to enjoy me <sighs> enjoying this. <laughs> oh my god, Joe, that's fantastic! So, got it home. It says on the box that like we don't like you don't have to refrigerate it, but you could refrigerate it. So overnight I refrigerated it and then, you know, I would break off pieces and the pe- like the lid doesn't like break off evenly, right? And I'm scooping right. bits out. Now, when you break the lid, is it a tough break or an easy no. break? It's just uh, like you were to get like a regular Hershey bar. Okay, see, I don't know how thick the chocolate yeah. is. That's why I'm asking. Not it could be thick. two inches thick for all I know. No, it's not. Now, I, the base of this is a little bit more hefty than mm-hmm. the sides of the cup. Right. And then once I was done with the lid, I had eaten enough of the insides that I was able to just break off pieces that I wanted and eat it like that. Right. Gotcha. With some residue or something like yeah. that left on it. Got it. Uh, but highly recommended. We'll purchase again next time that we go. Right. <laughs> Four A pluses. Yeah. What did you give it? Seven thumbs up, I think. Uh, it la- uh, And I'll say this. It lasted two and a half days. Oh, Wow, that's two days longer than it would have lasted me. Mm-hmm. So. And, uh, and I'll say, you know, because if you go, have you gone to the store and bought a candy bar these days, Todd? Every once in a while, I'm not big on candy. I've gotten off sweets, but I do make my own Hershey's things. I'll buy the Hershey candy bar and then get a spoon and eat Jif and like, put it on it and make my own. I love sure. that. I love that. But I don't eat too many, like, I'm not out there, like, stuff in my pockets with whatchamacallits, if you, you know, get my drift. but Because an average candy bar is, like, 2 to $3. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. And this thing, which, you know, obviously 20 bucks, I get my 15% discount because I'm a... A, a preferred member. Uh, a season pass holder, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever that puts it down to. And then, like, and this lasted me two and a half days. Like, that's cheaper than going and buying, like, two and a half days worth of candy bars at the local store. Right, because that would be seven candy bars at $3 or a piece. Or whatever. Yeah. Right. So it's worth it for the drive to go there and bring one back. And right, I had people the requesting... All. Like, oh, could you get one and send it to me? And I'm like, oh, if I bought two of these, one of the, like, there's no chance the second one is making to the post office. Right now. But to be fair, Uh the second one might make it to your house for a wonderful co-host to come and pick up while he's getting peanut sticks along the way. (laughs) Possibly. And maybe the pizza with the onions so he can go into a full diabetic coma. Mm Mm-hmm. So we also ate at the fancy restaurant that's there. Mm-hmm. That's called the Ooh. Chocolatier. I saw something you may have posted up, and I thought you were disgusting, but go ahead. Uh, okay. So obviously everything there. And when I say everything, everything is some sort of chocolate peanut butter infused whatever, right? Right. My uh, April even went and got a salad. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You don't win friends with salad, Joe. And the salad that she got um, had pretzel croutons and, like, chocolate-infused, like, whatever, right? It was, like, right. chocolate and cheese-infused whatever. Right. So I'm looking at their menu. Chocolate vinaigrette dressing. And they had a Reese's Peanut Butter Crunch Burger, uh-huh. right? And then one of the things that was on the burger was spiced sweet potato straws. Ugh. I'm looking at the menu off the app right now. That's why I know all these things. So th- I'm like, that doesn't sound appetizing to me. But they have another sandwich on here. Uh, where the hell is it? I got to close some stuff. Hang on. I can, I can imagine. 
Got a lot of things open. Mm -hmm. So then they have, and I'm not going to do it, then they have the ultimate barbecue bacon burger. (laughs) Thank you, by the way. You're welcome. So it's pulled pork, bacon, and Hershey's chocolate barbecue sauce. Now that sounds delightful. Okay. So I say to to myself, self, Mm -hmm. what if I ask the, the nice waiter person for that sandwich, no cheese, of course, does it come with cheese? It does come with cheese. Okay, I didn't know there was cheese on it. But no good. cheese, of course. But can I get that crunchy peanut butter, whatever, that's on the other burger? And the gentleman's like, absolutely. You know, <laughs> let's do it, right? See, I would be getting all this stuff on the side. So I learned my lesson. The bacon and pulled pork and chocolate barbecue sauce and the crunchy peanut butter sauce was too rich. It was okay. just too much. That's why you get stuff on the side. So you could dip. I'm a dipper, yeah. not a pourer. But go ahead. Uh, so, again, I just learned my lesson. Like, next time we go, I'll just get the burger without the peanut butter stuff. And it's it's like a – and when I say it's a chunky peanut butter, Todd, it was like full peanuts in the peanut butter sauce. <laughs> I'm a fan of peanuts. I don't like chunky peanut butter, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I like that's that sandwich. That sounds that sounds too. I don't know too many flavors for my tastes. But would I try it? Yes. Yeah. You know, I, it's worth it, and it, it's you know reasonably priced for what you would consider for like you know amusement park f- food essentially. Mm-hmm. And they really could have raked you over the coals for this. Like, obviously, something like that you're going to do okay with. But, the like, we went with Ace's friend and, like, the family and everything else like that. And I think, like, on the kids' menu, the mac and cheese was, like, so, oh, it's, like a ridiculous price, right? Right. What the hell is it? Kids' menu. I can't wait to try all this food when me and Adam dress up like you in April. Yes. So it doesn't have the prices here on the on the app, of course. You know, why would it? That's so they could change it on. They could have that. What's that pricing where it changes by how busy they are? Market price. There you go. Yes. Or flex pricing. Isn't that the thing that like Wendy's was claiming yep. they were going to do? Yep. Flex yeah. themselves right out of the camera frame. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I went on zero rides and I ate food. <sighs> what a waste of a ticket on you. That's all. <laughs> After the third trip, it pays for itself. <laughs> right. After I don't ride rides three times, the ticket pays for itself. That's right. Uh, no, a couple. So uh, because it was windy that day, a couple of the roller coasters were shut down because they won't run them if it's super windy. It's right, the ones the, that run on like the suspension track as opposed to like on rails. Right, Because the cars could fly off. Right. I guess. I don't know. So I got one more before uh, I I, tr- I ask you. How was uh, any any updates on you? Anything okay? Everything all right? I everything okay. I did nothing in the last week. Nothing. Good. Nothing at all. Just sat around the house and I don't know. Did a little bit of my collection and no- nothing else. Nothing else. All right. So uh, the website soon to be named Network is dead. What? <laughs> Okay, so you really didn't know this, or you... No, okay, what I knew was, the, la- <laughs> the last I had heard, and I don't remember if I saw it, that it was on Twitter or in the Discord, you talking about it, or, because I'm going to tell you this, a lot of stuff goes in one ear and out the other, um, like, I don't retain anymore, so you, I don't know if you told me about the soon-to-be-named network Tumblr being gone? Yes. So you did tell me about that, that wasn't just in the... The Twitter. No, no, it was was on uh, Twitter and it was in the Discord. Okay, fair enough. That I knew. But I didn't know about the soon-to-be-named network website. Well, that it is. That's what the soon-to-be-named network website was. It was Tumblr. Oh, it was a Tumblr site. Okay. I I thought they were two separate things you were talking about. It's the same. It is two separate things that link together. Like, uh, longboxheroes.com is a WordPress site. Okay. But, like, you could type in longboxheroes.com slash word, or dot wordpress.com and get there. Or you could just type in longboxheroes.com and it's like, it, it's a redirect, right? It takes you right where you need to go. Mm-hmm. Whereas soon to be named network.com would take you to the Tumblr. 
you know, so Thursday I'm sitting here and I get the notification that a new episode of Puzzle Warriors 3 is live and I grab it and I go and I put it up on the site. No problem. No fuss, no muss. Right. Right. So um, one of Tim and Marcus's shows that they do is part of a different network of shows, the North South Connection. And the link that they have on their social media for it is only about two years out of date. Okay. So when they post up a new episode, one, they do a very poor job of promoting it. No. Two, when I go to the link that's on their social media, it stopped updating the their, the link that's on their social media stopped updating in November of 2021. Mm-hmm. So then I have to go through through the actual North-South Connection site, then I have to, like, sort by Viewer's Choice, which is the show that they do. So I missed it when they put their show out, um, you know, Monday morning. So this is Thursday. Adam and I are recording the show. I go, oh, shit. I go, I want to, you know, listen to that. And I was Tim and Mark, because I want to promote it up on the site. So I go, I grab the link, (laughs) and I go to the Tumblr, and it just pops up and says... Your account has been suspended. Oh, no. <laughs> now, um, it says, uh, so I'll go there right now and uh, so I'll get Elon the Elon called Tumblr and got you shut down. What was that? Elon called Tumblr and got you shut down, too. So when I go to the Tumblr, it says account terminated, right? With prejudice. Yeah. Or because of prejudice, to, one or the other. I'm going to try to log in right now. I hope it works, just miraculously. No, because, because there's a redirect for it, too. Gotcha. And I probably have a solution for all your Tim and Marcus uh, podcast problems. Yeah? Yeah, use Google Podcatcher. Wait a minute. Use the Google Podcast, and you're good okay. to go. I heard it works really, really well. So it pops up and it says that my account has been terminated. Right. And it said, and there's a thing there that says like, oh, um, to find out why, click here. Mm-hmm. And the form that it takes you to right. is to fill out like reporting. Like it, there's a thing like, oh, choose a category. And there's a whole bunch of different categories and stuff, right? Like my blog was incorrectly marked as explicit. My tags aren't working. Um, report bugs. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then it says terminated account. And when I fill the thing in for the terminated account, everything that it gives me is though I'm reporting a post that caused my account to get terminated. And you don't know what terminated your account. But I was never notified of what caused it to happen, right? Right. So that's like Thursday night, at odds is done, wrapped up, ready to go, everything's scheduled. I go, okay, now let's start working on this. So I send the thing through the form, and it's been five days, and I haven't gotten a response. Right, they're backlogged, so you'll be at any day. (sighs) So we mentioned the redirect for Longbox Heroes. I think I have the redirect for soon to be named Network as well. So I have the domain through GoDaddy. And I go into my GoDaddy account, and I only have Longbox Heroes. So I'm going back through all my stuff for soon-to-be-named network. And Jeremy of the Remember Fresher and Parlance podcast? I know of it. Right. So uh, he's Fresher of Fresher and Parlance. Um, He's my friend Pete's friend. So I reach out to him, and I'm just like, hey, uh, you know, this is what happened. I go, I think you still have access to this. I go, could you help me out? And he's like, oh, I have it through Squarespace. And I'm like, well, I have this through GoDaddy. I don't know if we can mix the two or whatever. And he goes, I go, I really want to take this off your hands since you guys haven't podcasted in like five years. You know, why should I be bothering you with this? And similar to Brian, he's like, I don't want to give this up. But if you just give me the link that you want it to redirect to now, Mm -hmm. I'll do it for you. (laughs) Right. Well, he hasn't done it yet shocking it's only been two days no i know and he's a busy guy and i get it and he's doing me a favor um but in the meantime uh you can go to linktree.com slash 
STBN Network, and that's where all the links to all the shows will be. All right, let me bookmark that. Hold on. <laughs> now, I will say this. Um, I have a feeling the Tumblr's dead. I'm never going to get it back. Oh, Again, so... if it's been five days and they haven't responded to me, um, I'm just considering it a dead issue. I'm pretty sure that they'll get back to you, Joe. Look at how quick uh, Twitter kept getting back to you. Yeah. Um, so by setting up the link tree, and then once I get once Jeremy does the redirect and has soon to be soon to be named network.com, just go to the link tree. That's just where all the shows are gonna be. I don't have to worry about posting it every time a new show goes live. It'll just be like, go there. That's where all the shows are. That's mm-hmm. where you could find all the links to them, and that's it. And then I never need to like touch it again. Unless somebody like adds a show or changes the show or whatever, right? Um, but I'm not going to try to get a new Tumblr. I'm not going to try to do any of that sort of stuff because between me and you is a bit of pay- bit of a pain in the ass. Well, I'm glad you're in charge of all this and not me. I'll just yeah. say that <laughs> because guess what would have happened if any of these things happened and I was in charge. Mm-hmm. Oh, it would just be just everything would just be closed down permanently, yep, right? Yep, yep. So that's it. That's been my week. I'm glad to hear you had good times, bad times. You know, all of it. You, your life was literally a roller coaster, but you didn't ride one. Not that I would know. No, right? Mm-hmm. You crazy uh, kid, you. Yeah, but no, I was told one. Um, my delicate sensibilities would have been able to handle. And then the other one was one of the ones that was closed down uh, right. that they th- they thought would be able to handle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. But that's it. That's the show, man. Um, Patreon's still good, right? They haven't shut us down there. <laughs> Give it time, Joe. Give it so, time. So, Todd, it's been a little bit more than 12 months, but in the last... Uh, 14 months. We've lost our Amazon (laughs) click-through. I've lost a Twitter account and a Tumblr. Patreon will be next. (sighs) This show is never going to get sold, Joe. Oh, my goodness. And it's it's crazy to think that, like, these... Especially on Twitter now, these days. Like, you know how every post... Like, any... Nudes in profile. What was that? Nudes in profile. Okay, so that, but then uh, I'd made the joke to someone when they had, you know, they had kind of mentioned that that's what all their things are. And I looked at one of their posts earlier in the day and it had like five replies that were all that, right? Mm -hmm. So I send the screenshot, I send it to him. I go, whatever do you mean? And he goes, oh no, I've graduated to just hardcore pornography in my replies. Oh, good. (laughs) Right. I'm like, cool. And I know Tumblr tried to do away with that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And um, I'll just say they've done they've been doing a poor job of it. Oh. But those accounts still live. The hardcore pornography accounts still live on Twitter. But God forbid I tell someone to fuck off. I still think it was your bloody wrestling posts. That's all I'm going to say. And I've been I've been mindful about doing that too. I don't do uh, the bloody ones because they think it's a car wreck or something. I don't know what the hell they think it is, but Patreon's still good. Um, if Patreon gets shut down, we're moving to OnlyFans. Um, I, yeah, and I don't have one set up already, so that w- that will be a bit of a problem. <laughs> I swear. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, patreon.com slash longbox heroes is still a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, support the show. Help us out. All those Donate sort of to making of Megaforce if you can. Yes. Donate to making of Megaforce. Um, we'll talk about it on the main show, but they're what up to 86% with like a week and a half left to go. Right. And I haven't even backed it yet. Yeah. So. And it's the big wigs like Todd that are going to do the one where you get six zippos, nine headbands, <laughs> seven thumb kisses. They're the ones that are holding out and waiting for the last minute. I gotta have one headband for every day of the week, you know? Okay. And one Zippo to light each of those headbands on fire with? Never. 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 I do need one to frame, too. Okay. All right. Well, everyone, thank you very much. This was episode 491 of After Dark, Logbox Heroes After Dark or something. Uh, Thanks for listening. Thanks for bearing with us. See you next week. 
You're listening to the soon-to-be-named network, the Lamborghini of Podcast Networks.